Welcome back to the off green bottom. Kind of weird. I never do this in in this game. Oh, I also never got healed from from the prod fight apparently, which I took way too much damage in. I feel like it's so much. Yeah, my range is shorter. I'm pretty certain that's part of what's bugging me. So I don't. There are so many cases where I think I can hit some my attack, and I just don't for some reason. I think I just have a shorter range. But anyways, something I never really do in this game is just running around without teleporting. And something that I nowadays realize I like, oftentimes like to do in games. Also, how you guys go? There's still plenty of robots running around. Come back anytime. It's kind of weird how they just like follow you around in this place. Hello? Let me talk. Why can't I talk to Bart? Like, I'm mashing the button, the prompt's coming up, I can't talk to him. Okay, I guess I can only talk to him right now? It's weird. It's also, I just attack slower! Jeez. That might just be the input line, though. But I never just, like, move around on foot. It's, for some reason, I find that I oftentimes like that means. It would be if it existed, SpongeBob. Chickers doesn't exist, it's just a myth. It's just like ice and the floor in this place. But television plankton is real, and he can't hurt you. Keep that in mind. On the other hand, what's also very real is the threat of this game imploding on itself when I try to make multiple spatches appear in the same spot. So I'm going to... Oh, Patrick, put your pants on. Thank you. If you will give me a moment, I will make another backup of my save, which I don't think this game offers you a utility for doing. Oops. A utility for doing in the game itself, I don't think. So I'm just going to do that manually through my good old file manager real quick. Where is that? Back in app data. For those of you wondering... Uh, the save location of this game, it's in app data. Is it local? Yeah, app data local pineapple. This game's codename is apparently pineapple. Saved. Save games. There it is. And then you can find your various saves as well as your settings. I'll delete slot, slot 2. Copy current slot 1. Rename that to slot 2. There we go. Now, nice. Twin ankle saves. So, what happens if. Also, if you want to mod your save file, you can probably try it there too. In fact, I think I saw all the names of all the spatulas in there. So, I probably could mod my save file to make, like, to give myself, like, end game spatulas and not have early game spatulas or something like that. I might be able to mod my save file even to like make myself not have the SpongeBob's closet spatula, but still have like later ones or something like that. I don't know if there would be any practical effect to doing that. Other people have probably modified this game to a greater SpongeBob, extent on that, though, and more interesting ends. In fact, I'm quite home. certain they have. Where they belong. In fact, when I was streaming this game, spatula. At first, yeah, there's there's two of them there. Italian. When I was streaming this game, when I first played it, somebody mentioned somebody had modded, I don't remember who, had modded in s some model over Spongebob. So two spatches in one place. Oh, did I pick up both? I believe I did pick up both, because I had 38, I believe. Since I just backed up my save, I can see. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. But I believe somebody else has also done some more interesting modding things that pertain to multiplayer that I won't say anything about, because I only know about that because I saw a video with its title alluding to that, except I, so I haven't looked into multiplayer things yet, so I was going to think to myself kind of like unspoiled on that. I will, for the most part. I'm not reading anything about this game or anything as I play it, and on the off chance that that also applies to anybody else, I'll just refrain from saying anything about it. Or about features such as that. 
Anyways, where do I go next? We have Sand Mountain. Oh, let's look at the animation coming out of this one for a little bit. What if he didn't? That's also weird. He always, um. He always faces away from the camera. Rock Bomb is the next place to go officially. I guess we'll just uh, stick to the official order. How, much, how many objects do you have? Ah, I hate that this game doesn't show you things that pause menu. This game surprises me as a big downgrade. But the rainbow color of the shiny objects is an upgrade. Oh, you don't have to sit there and watch as it happens. It's so unfortunate. Hans. I, I see you so rarely, Hans. I see the cup horse back there. Probably on top of the sign, right? I don't would think. Can you not? Here I could. I could probably, in the worst case, like bounce off of it somehow. Oh wait. There's silly little things that I like to try every now and then. My point was to try to get as close to getting into rock bottom as possible. Oh, hello Spongebob, you're not supposed to do that. And in the old tradition of me having... Oh no, it seems like if you just... There might be an actual wall that you... can't go past. Chop me in the air. So as opposed to just being a matter of you... being on this ground for a certain amount of time, it might be there's a wall you can't go past, or... It might not care whether you're on the ground or in the air. Or something like that. Doesn't seem like you can really... get back there. Not unless you manage to do something funny. Like using the sponge ball? Yeah, I figure... that what will happen if you... This has the same problem as the original game, where Spongebob will get desync from Hans. I suspect that you'll just un-Spongeball if you try to... ...to, like, speed on through. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah, so unless there's any way to get a bunch of speed, which there might be... ...might not be able to drop down to Rock Bottom. But for those of you not aware, I did have a video where I actually got the other side of Rock Bottom in the overworld, back in the original. Battle for King Bottom, which for some it was just a little silly, almost joke type of thing I made. Was there a giant rock bottom neon sign in the original? It's a very, very um, brief opening description for this area. <laughs> I forgot that detail. Oh, come on. Well, I guess the joke is that person had to go to the bathroom. Come on, I, that, that's why. That's why they're there. Oh, it's just rude. Bob, I'm actually glad you're here. Believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. Are you SpongeBob? But for some reason, that video blew up like crazy a while after I made it. You know, it was just a dumb little joke with me messing around. It got. It has like a like in the hundreds of thousands of years right now, or something dumb like that. The robots have stolen. The air is so weird and arbitrary about what it makes you popular. You can turn it all to me. I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Where do you get these from? Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Ah, game. It's not the right animation for her. The shaking was perfect for this. In the original, I, I don't know if it like closed in on her face. I feel like it did. Maybe not. But and her shaking as she said that was perfect. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. That's one of my favorite lines in this game. Don't ask questions you're prepared to hell the answers to. Not because of the line itself, but one the delivery and two the animation as she does it, as she says Pretty that. Can't take it. Ooh, did this originally have the? Uh, this really cool looking pipes everywhere. It's really cool looking pipes. It's a bit too bright, but it's cool. One thing it does maybe a little bit is how the void here is green at the bottom. I wish it was black, so it actually... I and mean, they probably tried making it black and didn't like how it looked or something, but it feels less like void when it's not black. Oh, 
I'll probably accidentally wake one at some point later. So he still got his little laser. Well, this time it's more of a laser. It, was, it looked like a tractor beam originally. Turn to cinder. And I, want, I want him to hit me with it now. I'm certain I can't hit myself with it or anything like that, but it would be funny if I could. I'm just in a mood to play with things all of a sudden. It seems like... Whoa, what was that? I don't really stay in one place. It's hard to get to shoot right back at you, but... There you go. Out. Anyways, I'm going to be so upset if this isn't... That's weird. So I got the Easter egg, but you don't have to actually press the button to make it happen anymore. Oh, it's repeatable. I like that, actually. In the original game, I... Could you only do this once ever in the original, or was it just you could do it only do it once every time you load the area? But in the original, you had to walk up to the machine and actually press the attack button. Here, it just activates whenever you're near it, which is kind of weird, but I appreciate they included it, so whatever. Okay. So we'll see if sleepy times are, any, are different in a significant fashion. Suspect not. I cannot see the top of that thing. Oh my god. The vertical element of rock bottom is very important, so it's cool if we actually managed to pull that off. And the luminescence of everything. Okay. How long ago the original had all these like little floating shiny bits everywhere? Kind of there's just like stuff floating around in, in the water everywhere. I like it though. Is there a time in this episode already? Oh, hey, there's a person I had to use the bathroom who doesn't anymore. Probably. It's almost time in this episode, but not yet. Oh, whoa, what? What, what precisely does he do? It's like he fires something from his eyes, except you can't see anything? Oh no, he actually fires a laser. Can you can you sneak as fast in this kind of kind of original? I don't feel like you can sneak as fast in this game. Time for a little sleepy sneak. This one don't usually fit punctuation in this. There you go. In his captions. In any case, there we go. That's sleepy time for you then. This is so atmospheric. I do appreciate the great variety and atmosphere of this game. These always bug me so much. I think, I think I just like didn't understand the, like way back in the day or something that you had to sneak across these. Oh wait, wow! You can actually run across these. Yes. Yeah, okay. In the original, you cut. I don't think. I don't know if it was just the time was really tight, or if you actually couldn't just jump across these like that. But you don't really need to stick across them if you're I gotta say, Bubba Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. That's what bubbles do, you know. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. I think this You'll is one of those. Have to be clever and find another route to get in. I think this is another one of those cases where they just didn't have any particular character to throw in here, so they just chose a random character that being Bubble Buddy. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? You're trying too hard, game. I like I like that you're like acknowledging and accentuating the joke, but I don't think it's actually made funnier by him holding stamps. Maybe it is? I don't know. I mean it was kind of right weird in the original he said all these stamps and it wasn't actually holding stamps, it was just kind of implied they had it. So maybe it is better that they're there. Could work. But perhaps being sneaky would be faster. <laughs> it sure wasn't when I first played this game. You you really could have mailed Sponge on would be faster. I had the hardest time with Rock Bottom for some reason. Probably in part because of those funny platforms. This place is also kind of not non-linear, but it's kind of not obvious how to progress, I think. But I think if I hadn't seen that joke coming, that that him holding a stamps probably wouldn't be a nice something I appreciated more. So, uh, can you give me a hint on how to get to the museum? I would if I could, my little square friend. It's kind of weird, actually. They just outright refuse to help you if you're asking for help in this game. 
in that particular instance. Fresh, like a spring breeze. Oh, huh, but shapes of the rocks are... The rocks are shaped really different, in a way that actually makes it a lot easier. Oh, ta -ha! You jerks. Not being a really convenient sequence break. They will just jump on that and then get that splash up there. How long donation do you get up there? I don't know, because physics has decided to stop working. But yeah, although the rocks are a lot more, I don't know, like, geometric, they're more angular. They're not as smooth. They have, like, flat surfaces on top now. Which is really weird. Anyways, I'll see you guys the next time next episode let's play Valve Cave Bottom Rehydrated. Down here in the deep, deep depths of no longer the Mermelayer, but instead, oh wow. <laughs> in Rock Bottom, even deeper than we were before. I don't know what is with us going downwards lately. Oh well. There we go. Swim, swim, drop.